Hi, Kathy here to show how to customize your QuickBooks invoice. My name is Kathy Hahn. I'm a QuickBooks Advanced Pro Advisor and my website is qbkathy.com. This is part one of a mini series where I'll be demonstrating how to customize your QuickBooks invoice. What does your QuickBooks invoice look like? Does it look like this? Is this what your current invoice looks like? Well, we can fix that. Let's close out of this. Let's go back in here and we'll customize this. So let's go to Customize, Manage Templates. We'll make a copy of this Intuit Service Invoice. And I always recommend that you make a copy of your invoice so that you don't work over the original. You'll always have the original Intuit standard invoice there. So we'll just create a new template name. We'll call it uh, QB Kathy Invoice. And we'll say OK. Alright, so we've got a new template here. And what you want to do is you want to go in here and make sure in these boxes here that your company name, your company address, fax number, phone number, email, website address, all that's correct. You can go in here and update your information. Okay. If you actually want to add a phone number, you just click on this box. And see what it did? It put this little box here. So we're going to need to go in and rearrange this invoice, customize it a bit, and move these boxes around. See, now if we put this email address in, it puts another little box here, see? And let's do the uh, website address. Say we want to include that on the invoice. Here again, it puts another little box. There's three boxes here. Maybe we want to put the fax number. Okay, so it included it. There's, there's those four boxes with fields attached to them that went onto the invoice that we'll actually need to rearrange. Before we go in and do that, We'll do that uh, in a later lesson, but here, see this box, print status stamp? I always like to keep this box checked because it puts a status of the invoice right across the invoice. If it's paid, if it's pending, you'll have that status print printed right across your invoice. Also, another neat thing you can do in here, you can change the fonts for your generic invoice there. Um, you can apply a color scheme. You can go in here, Say if you want to do green, apply the color scheme. See, it changes everything there. So we'll go back here just for now. Leave it to the black. And something real important you want to do when you first, before you start sending out invoices, is use your logo. You just go in your company file, select an image for your logo image. And so there's a logo image up there. Okay. So yeah, there's lots of things here we can do with this invoice and we'll do that uh, in another part. So this ends uh, part one. So this is just the beginning. Stay tuned for part two of Customizing Your Invoice in QuickBooks by Kathy Hahn, www.qbkathy.com. Okay, see you soon.